You think um, there's anything uniquely beneficial about sprinting in terms of reducing visceral fat? I do. Nothing will raise lactate levels higher in a shorter period of time than sprinting. The more or medics you use short blasts of very intense stressors, the more benefit you bring. But when you reduce the intensity or you do too much, which is precisely the problem with jogging and running, it just becomes a stressor and we see this visceral fat. In this scan here, this visceral fat was in a runner. He ran 10 miles a day, five days a week. When he switched that jogging to sprinting, look how much he vanished his visceral fat. What you got to do in combination, eliminate carbohydrates, especially processed carbs. Exercise very intensely. Don't go for a jog. That's just going to increase your cortisol and your adrenaline and feed your visceral fat. You'll get higher levels of endorphins and you won't get as much cortisol and you'll abate the stress if you sprint. So what I tell my business executives, when they get a nasty email, instead of getting all stressed out, drop and do 50 or 25 push-ups or five or 10 or one or two pull-ups. You got to meet the stressors that you have in a chronic basis with an intense basis.